Hey guys, it's Swish here, and today I have a nice, easy redstone tutorial for a passcode lock door. And as you see, if I flip the switch, nothing happens, or these switches, you know, no power, you know, it's not opening up the door. But if you flip the right combination of levers, such as that, 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 and this one, it opens. You can go through and then you can lock it from the inside. So, as you can see, this is very cool, and it's very small also. So, I had a couple other prototypes, but they were really kind of bulky and not good. But this is good, so uh, this is this, and then let's, uh, I guess, get into the tutorial. Hey guys, uh, we're back, and ready to start this tutorial. And you can see, it does not take very many different items, and not very many of them. It takes some redstone, as a repeater, a lever, some kind of solid block, and sticky piston. So, uh, let's get started. Alright, we're going to select a door frame. So, we're going to build a door like so. We're not going to put a door in there, though, because you could make a different one with a door, but this one's not use a door. So, then just extend it. You know that. Um, on each side, a decent amount. Should probably be exactly the same, but we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm not sure this is going to add up, but we'll start with seven for now. Let's finish this off. And then we're going to select places for buttons. And so we're going to skip one from right next to the door, then place a button, skip one, not button, lever, sorry. Skip one, place one, skip one, place one, skip one, place one. My tutorial only had three on each side. I guess we'll just do three, make it easier. But you can obviously just add in another one if you would like to. But for simplicity purposes of this tutorial, we're just going to have three on each side. Two, three. How'd that work out? So we, whatever. Um, yeah. Well, get that. anyways, so um, levers there, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go around to the back side, and it was that one. So get underneath of this, and obviously we don't want this to show. So underneath each lever, we're gonna put blocks like this, and just to make it look more realistic or aesthetically pleasing, I just filled it in. So just kind of like that, so we can get underneath the levers. So we're gonna now go like this. We're gonna dig a little trench like this. So we're gonna go two out on each one, like that, and then connect the trenches like that. So it would skip here, out two, out two, out two, and connect the things like that. Uh, yeah, go in on each of these. I'm just gonna place it with stone just because I'm a OCD freak. Like this, so we got something that looks kind of like that. Uh, now we're going to go in and place uh, some redstone dust under each one of the levers, like this. And now comes the time where you choose where or which combination of levers you wish to have be the accurate one. So for this tutorial, I'm going to select uh, this one this one, and then the far end one. So what you're going to do is you, oh, I'm sorry, you're going to need redstone torches too for this. My bad. Um, underneath the levers which you want to be the correct combination, you're going to put a redstone torch on the block like this. So those are the ones I wanted, so yeah. And then basically then you just connect the redstone like so to all of the other ones all right so now comes uh, the pistons we're gonna put a piston right here facing down put the block on it and then a piston there two blocks down put the block on that so when they extend they'll cover the door now comes wiring the 
pistons into this. What we're going to do is dig down a little bit more here on the three middle bars. Just so we can get underneath here. And then that piston is right there. So we're just going to connect this wiring to there. Like that. And yeah. So the top one's a little bit more tricky. I think I've figured out a pretty decent way to get it though. So in order to get up to there, we're going to bring the redstone out, but keep it on this lower level because when we extend the pathway, we don't want it to be able to cut off the circuit. So keep it on this level down until you get to the side a little bit. And then we're going to start climbing up over here. I'm just going to use stone again. Well, you can go this way. Uh, oops. Like this. And then you just keep climbing up like so. I'm going to put a repeater down in a second because I don't think this signal is going to make it. But, like, it might actually. Oh, look at that. All right. So, yeah, then uh, make sure it's on the flat level straight out until you get to the side. And then just build up like that and hook it on. Uh, now it's time to test it and see if you did it right. So let's go around to the front. And you got to remember the combination that you chose. And flick down the levers that have the redstone torches on them. So it would be that one, that one. Up, oh, see, we messed up. I messed up a little bit, sorry. And that one will flip down the last one. The problem we have is when the signals from each individual section don't make it all the way to each thing. So that's when this part comes in. Uh, we're going to put a repeater here. Don't ask. It's just a timing issue. And then one right here. So the uh, signal from each one of the red zone torches is capable of making it to the top piston. So now as you'll see, um, if we, they're all regular. Now, if we flip each one down that we want it to be, they both open at the same time. That's pretty cool. It works. Now, I'm kind of a quirky kind of a guy, so I don't, when I flip the switch, I can't see it open up always. And, you know, I like seeing stuff open. So. I guess you could say, oh, just uh, do this switch last and you can kind of see it. I don't know. But uh, I'm adding in a like a power switch over in the front here so I can like stare at the door while it opens up. So we're going to do that right now. But if you wanted to leave it like this, this is a fully functional uh, passcode lock. You just cover that up. Uh, but yeah, I'll get to the back door in a second so you can lock it from the back side. Actually, we'll do that right now. So then you continue on. I'll open it up so you can kind of see what's happening. Like so. Oh, that was already down. Okay. And then, yeah, it's said to make sure that stays low so we can this pathway doesn't cut it off. And then I'm just gonna continue it over, like so, like this. And there you go. There's the little walkway. So now what we're going to do is make a closing switch from the outside. So we're going to take some here, put the lever right there, and connect that to there. So when you through, it gets power back to the circuit and closes the pistons again. And the one thing about this is when you close it from this side, no one from the inside, no one from the outside can get in because there's power to the circuit. So no matter what they do, it's locked until you're done inside. So I thought that's kind of cool. But, um, yeah, we'll leave that open for a second so we can work on this last little thing. So you can either leave it like this, or you can add this thing then that I did, which I'm not sure if I like entirely, but I'll show you guys how to do it in case you feel like you want to. So, uh, you put a thing there, and we're going to do some wiring right now. So dig underneath of it and let me get this straight. We're going to put a piece of redstone there and then redstone torch. Oh, there we go. Like that. And then we're going to, you can come up now I think. Yeah. I'm sorry. This is kind of the most recent thing I did so it's a little less beaten down in my brain. Let me flip this so we can see if we have power. Oh, whoa, that's messed up. 
Oh, I know what I'm doing wrong. I'm sorry. I apologize. There we go. Cuts it. All right, we're good. And then just carry this. We're going to go around to the side. That's good enough. And then just over here until we're in line with that circuit. And so we're going to bring it here. I'm just going to throw in a... Uh, repeater at the end here to make sure the circuit can make it all the way to the repeater over underneath. So, connect that, and so that is an alternative way to get power to the pistons as well. So, now, I'll show you that even when, it's getting night time, even when the correct combination is plugged in to the thing. There's still power in the circuit, so the door doesn't open until you give it the command in which you can go through. So I like that a little bit better because you can kind of just see it happen, and then obviously you can close it as well. But, yes, I like that because, you know, it's more like, bam, you know, you're looking at it. Obviously it'd be lighter and torch it up, but I like that. So, and then, so yeah, that's it for the wiring. Obviously, you're going to want to hide this by covering it up. So you just kind of come around, you know, and just kind of hide this up the best you can, you know. Uh, but, uh, so that's it for the tutorial, guys. Thank you for watching. If you uh, want more redstone, I should be having more coming. This is my first actual redstone tutorial on my channel. But uh, more should be coming. So if you want some more redstone tutorials, please uh, subscribe. And uh, thank you guys for watching this video. See you later.